Today we're going to be doing something very fun for children for St. Patrick's Day and we're going to be making some little chocolate lollipops. I have a Wilton chocolate mold slash candy mold and this is what we're going to be using. I have some green candy melts which I've melted down here, some milk chocolate, white chocolate and some little lollipop sticks. So let's get on with the little recipe. So we're going to start off with our mold. This mold, very inexpensive, cost me about three dollars and What's nice about it is that it has this little indentation where you can sit the little lollipop stick. So you can put them all the way along. So let's start off with our beautiful milk chocolate. We'll just start filling our little mold. So you want to get these right up to the top. And give it a little bit of a knock. That's good. Let's do a white chocolate one. So we're going to put all of our little sticks in right at the end. So I'm going to fill these first. Because I do want to tap them a little bit and if you put in the sticks right now, then the sticks are going to fall out. So we'll fill that up. That's good. We'll give that a little tap. Then we'll do our green. So this is something that you really want to enjoy with your children. It's something very easy to do. Super fun. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll flip it around and let's do one more of each color. So I'll start here with the green. So I think you get the idea. Very, very simple. And then our white. That's good. And then our beautiful milk chocolate. That's good. And then, I just want to tap. If you do see some of the Merlot, a little bit, you can just add a little bit more. You can see now that this one's a little bit low. And this green as well, just a little bit low. And that there, I'd say, is perfect like that. So let's just give it another little tap. Perfect. And then, make sure we're on camera here. We'll grab our little sticks and then you would just want to estimate where you're going to get it right about here. And just push it down so that it gets completely covered. And just leave it just like that. So get it in there. Push down into the chocolate. You can give it a little twist and then Gravity will usually just pull it up a little bit, or you can just keep it like that. That looks good. Down. Give it a little twist. That's good. And then we'll do the same thing for the rest of these. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. So we're going to grab our little stick. And you just give it a little push so it goes right into the chocolate. And then you can just give it a little twirl. That's good. You have to remember you want these sticks to really you know, be well in there because that's what the child is going to be holding on to. So you want to make sure that they're really locked into the chocolate and the candy melts. And then we'll just give it a little turn. And that's good like that. Now I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can show you what I'm doing. So I've got a little cutting board here and I'm going to very, very gently get this onto the cutting board. And now I have a really good stable surface, something solid that I can put into my freezer. I find with this type of mold, these expensive molds, you really do need to put them in the freezer for them to pop out later on really well. 
So I'm going to pop these into the freezer for about 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, these have been in the freezer for about 10 minutes. I'm just going to turn them over and we're just going to, you can see how easily they're just popping out already. I didn't even have to tap them. And there we go. Aren't those cute? And children will really like these. So let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay, I decided just to put down a little piece of parchment paper. There's a little block of wood underneath that I have some holes drilled into. And I just use that to hold up my little cake pops and stuff like that. But here we have our final product. Now for the white chocolate, what you can do is take some of the green candy melts and just drizzle it right over the white chocolate so that you get a nice little design on there. On the green one, you could take a little bit of white chocolate and put a little drizzle on there as well, if you wish. So that's another little you know, addition that you could add to that to make it your own. So there we have it, our really fun shamrocks. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.